Welcome back. This is lecture five. So, in the last lecture, that is lecture four, we wrote this API, awesome API of ours. We were able to access the data using Postman. When we supplied an API key here, that is authorization, we were able to send and get back the data. But when we removed it, we were not able to get the data. And then the other thing that we were supposed to look at in this one is to make sure that this one returns something that is cool, something that is consumable. Because when you send this data to a mobile, uh, to, to an endpoint which is consuming this API, maybe a mobile app or probably um, some, uh, 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 an application made with React, uh, Vue or Angular or any other front-end application, it's not going to know what is ERP, whatever, whatever. It's not going to know what is this. It's not going to know. So you need to supply the key in the value format of an API. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you exactly that. And how we are going to do, first of all, uh, let me let me make this API able to work without that, that uh, uh, without the token. And how we do in ERP next is that in the frappe.whitelist function, what you're going to do to convert this API into a public or open API, you just tell it to allow guest and you set it to true. It is as simple as that in ERP next. So allow guest equals true. So now when I come to this application and send, I am going to get my data back. You see, I do not have an authorization. I do not need it there. And now I can send and get my data back even without it. So this is the only thing that we needed to do. In the frappe.whitelist function, allow guest set it to true. Now, the next thing that we need, just look at this. Look at look at look, look at what we are getting here. Look at the response we are getting here. That response is not good. It is not it is not something you can send to the front end developer and tell them that you have finished your work, your API is working. They are not going to be able to consume this. So what you need to do is on your code, uh, come to the end of your 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 query, and then this one you are going to write. Uh, as dict, this is dictionary, and set it to true again. So you are going to tell Frappe that I want to return whatever you're going to get here as a dictionary. And when you save that and you go back to this one and send it, now you see what you are getting is a message that is an array of, uh, an, of an object. So if you have more than one items within here, what you're going to be getting here now <coughs> is uh, an array of objects, but because we have only one item, we have only one uh, uh, object inside of our array. And now when you send this to a, a front-end developer, they are able to know what is this, they, they know that there's a name, they know that it was modified by the administrator, it's owned by the administrator, this is the naming series, the item name, and all these other details are here, so they can take it. Again, the other thing that I want to show you before I end this lecture, is how to for, to take what, only what you need from uh, your API. So from here, I can say I need the name, so I can come back to my API, and instead of selecting all, I can just say I want the name, and then I want the, let me go back to Postman, what do, else do I need here? Remember, you're going to be getting the things that you may you will be needing. So I also need the that, the item name. I can go back to Postman. The other thing I need here maybe is the item description. This may be needed uh, maybe for a mobile app. And that continues. So you are going to put everything that you need here. And now when you come to your postman and send this, you are only going to get a message with the items, only the items that you have selected in your query. So that is how you do it. So to for you to make any uh, API uh, public or open in ERP Next, in the white trees function, supply or the white list decorator supply allow guest and put it to true and then for you to get this thing as a dictionary and so it is consumable by front-end applications in your query supply the as dictionary equals true thank you so much for watching this video this is just one section of the erp next api developer series where we cover everything that you need to know to become an erp next developer if you want this video, this series, you can get it from my website codewithkanani.com or you can get it from Udemy. See you inside the series.